chamber, people say it's for the children or it's for the kids. What hogwash from the other side to say that this bill helps the children with the child tax credit. Your child tax credit is for one year, but your, your, your tax break for millionaires is for 10? You, You're this, is, this is a wonderful place. I got to tell you, our child tax credit is one year more than your child tax credit. We did one that well, this year, we're going to do one next year, and we're going to keep going. I love this place. Guys get wrapped around like a pretzel in this place. I, if this was a football game, right, let me be clear. I'm against any tax cut for the wealthy. This is an investment in working class people, whether they're white or black or brown. But when I listen to the other side, I hear somebody who, if this was a football game, I'd go back and say, I want to review. I want a review of the play, and I want to pull up the C-SPAN video of all the Republicans at the Rose Garden touting a big tax cut for the top 1% that blew a trillion dollar hole in the economy. This place is ridiculous. Let's invest in the people, let's not cut taxes for rich people, and we got a new name for the GOP, the grand old phonies. Yield back the balance of my time. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I've ever heard a dumber argument than a Republican complaining that the Democrats' extension of the child tax credit and the Build Back Better Act isn't good enough because it's only for one year when the Republicans quite literally have no extension of the child tax credit. I mean, it's almost scary how someone could be so shameless. Now, first of all, the balls on Republican Jason Smith to even lie about Democrats offering a tax cut for millionaires when the Republicans only major legislative achievement was literally a tax cut for millionaires. According to the Tax Policy Center, the 2017 GOP tax cut gave the top 1% 20.5% of the tax cuts and the top 20% 65.3% of the tax cuts. And on top of all of that, Jason Smith literally voted for it. The guy standing there screaming about the disgustingness of a giveaway to millionaires himself helped with a giveaway to millionaires, apparently unaware that his audience wasn't all born after 2017. And just to humor Tim Ryan, who said he wants a review, here you go, an entire political party filleting themselves over their huge achievement of giving every millionaire in America the gift of a tax cut. It's the largest, I always say the most massive, but it's the largest tax cut in the history of our country, and reform, but tax cut. Really something special. So if Jason Smith is looking for the assholes responsible for handing millionaires a tax break, might I suggest he start with those people and then hold up a mirror to top it off. But of course it gets worse. Jason Smith then claims that while the Democrats' child tax credit is bad because it doesn't last long enough, even though their own child tax credit is non-existent, he then tries to claim that Democrats are also pushing a tax cut for the rich. Like, what? First of all, the whole point of the Build Back Better Act is that it's paid for solely by the rich. There will be zero tax increases for anyone making under $400,000 a year, which inherently means that the only source of revenue to offset the cost will come from the wealthy, period. In fact, the US Treasury just announced that it expects a staggering $480 billion to come from tax enforcement from the IRS, meaning that all of those tax sheets who were able to run wild thanks to Trump gutting the agency are now finally going to have to pay their fair share of taxes. But sure, this bill is a break for millionaires. Right. In reality, this bill is a once in a generation boon to regular working class Americans, which is why the provisions within the bill are so popular among those working class Americans. We're talking about universal pre-K for three and four year olds. That's a gift to millionaires. We're talking about paid family and medical leave for people who'd otherwise not be able to take time off of work. Again, a, a gift to millionaires. We're talking about capping the cost of insulin at $35 a month. That's a gift to millionaires. We're talking about ACA subsidies and expanding Medicare to cover hearing benefits and closing the Medicaid gap in 12 states. Those are gifts to millionaires? I know Republicans like to point to this and say they're scary buzzwords, but the Build Back Better Act isn't some spooky, vague entity. The bill is only its contents, and the actual contents of this bill are right there in black and white. They are ways for regular people to get some help, and nothing about them is a giveaway to the rich. What's a giveaway to the rich is the only bill that the GOP passed this entire decade, which is a blatant, actual, literal giveaway to millionaires, billionaires, and corporations. 
And people like Jason Smith are smart enough to know that, but they're banking on the fact that their supporters are too stupid. Their only strategy is to lie, while the Democrats' strategy is to deliver. And finally, I'll end with this. If Democrats are able to expand their Senate majority just a little more and finally render certain moderates like Manchin and Cinema irrelevant by eliminating the filibuster, we'll be able to actually pass the rest of our agenda. But that starts with flipping red seats blue. Tim Ryan is running for Senate in Ohio. So if you live in that state, if you have friends or family in that state, then make sure they know that the Build Back Better Act is only the beginning. And if we want to see more legislation that helps regular, working class Americans, then we need to elect people like Tim Ryan. People who will actually pass bills instead of lying to you about them. So learn his name because it's going to take wins in places like Ohio if you want to continue serving regular people in the country and not just the top 1%. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button right here on this screen. And if you want to support my work, subscribe to my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen. I cover the most important stories each week, and my guest is always one of the top political figures, including Vice President Kamala Harris, Jen Psaki, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, Nancy Pelosi, Katie Porter, Cory Booker, and so many more. The podcast link is also right here on this screen, so give it a listen and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.